forces have regrouped once again, and this weekend launch a U.S. tour that they call a technical tour de force. We stopped by one of the band's rehearsals recently to find out what they mean. Genesis was putting the finishing touches on the staging of its latest U.S. stadium tour. While the automated television screens and computerized lighting are technically elaborate, the band says their purpose is to make the show itself simpler. It's big, but in, in, in being big, it's actually just been designed to actually focus more on the band. I mean, when you go and see bands at these often with outdoor gigs, they've got these big screens either side. You know, if you look at them or the stage, there's an awful lot going on. You know, the whole thing is focused much more sensibly around the group, so it becomes more one thing. So although. It's big. I think you actually get a feeling you'll see in the band more. Three computerized jumbotron screens purchased for the tour are the band's latest visual toys. The group's history of elaborate visuals has, of course, been a big audience attraction for almost 20 years. They always know, which is probably why, I mean, fingers crossed, in such a, a climate, financial climate that we live in, in the recession, that people are buying our tickets because they kind of trust us, I think. There's not the real, they know they're going to see something, they know there's going to be a couple of hours at least of music, so they're going to get more value for money from that point of view. But also, they're going to see something that, um, well, it's something they haven't seen before, maybe, and also, they're going to get a complete show as opposed to something that's just thrown together. They know all about organizing elaborate tours down to the last detail, but the boys are still wrestling with the fine art of packing suitcases. I think they're still searching for the perfect way to pack. I was actually down in the luggage shop today trying to work out whether to buy a case with a double compartment. <laughs> These are the big decisions in your day, you know, where am I going to put the shoes? And uh, can't decide, actually, but he's packing. a very he's a very good packer. I'm a very good packer. Things he come is, out the way they go. He's a terrible go. packer. He, he, puts, <laughs> he puts the tissue paper back in his t-shirts, right? He folds them neatly and puts them in his trunk. Well, that way they I come out every night. Yes, yeah, they they come out the way they go in. That's the thing. I'm Otherwise, you end up wearing. You know, yeah. you probably tell, but there is an art to it. But I think we're still still <laughs> striving to uh, get there. Why won't you come in home? For Genesis, the final treat may be the chance to get out of inclement England and take full advantage of summer in the States. It does affect the whole atmosphere of the crew, the band, everyone around, and the audience too. I mean, obviously, you couldn't do that if they come out to shows in the winter. Um, it always feels a bit more relaxed to me as summer tour. We've always had a bit of a strange relationship with outdoor shows, actually, Genesis. As soon as you mention Genesis and a summer tour, it rains. Genesis will be back on the road in Miami on May 16th.